Interview. Hey everyone, we're here at Konami's uh, Split Press event and we're talking about a game, uh, Miami Law with Amar Gravani, uh, Associate Brand Manager with Hudson. Miami Law, uh, kind of unlike anything you see on the DS. I mean, it's sort of Phoenix Wright-like, but it's got its own spin on the, what what would you call it, adventure game for the DS? Yeah, we call it an adventure game. It's, right, it's a little Phoenix Wright-ish. You're moving from area to area, interviewing uh, suspects, talking to people looking for evidence. At the same time, though, you're also doing some action stuff. So you come to a warehouse, might have a shootout you have to be involved in, or find some evidence and dust for fingerprints. So it is a, a, a blend of genres. It's an interesting blend. And tell me who you play in this game and, and what they're all about. You actually play as uh, two different characters uh, with some great names for TV. You have uh, Law Martin of the Miami PD. He's the reckless, shoot first, ask questions later guy. And then you also have his uh, partner for this case, Sarah Starling of the FBI. And she's the brainy, no-nonsense, analyze-everything girl. Exactly. Totally by the books. The, the interplay between them uh, comes through not only in dialogue, but in the mini-games that you play as you go throughout the game, right? Exactly, yeah. I mean, each person has their own type of mini-games. For law, you'll have shootouts and car chases. And Sarah, you'll have some analysis, like looking at molecules or fingerprints. But the cool thing is, at different points in the story, a lot of times, you can choose either Law or Sarah, and a story you'll, you'll see different parts of the story or different events through their eyes. Can you give us an example? Yeah, for example, uh, partway through the first chapter, you're hopping into the car and you're chasing some perps. And if you choose Law, you're driving. You're avoiding cars, you're trying not to crash, you're trying to get close enough to the perps to get them. But if you're Sarah, you're riding shotgun and you're actually shooting at these people. Keep, mix, keep it mixed up, that's good. Exactly, exactly. So I know that uh, this game has a Japanese developer. It's got a Japanese feel, but it was it's developed specifically for an American audience, right? Yeah, we made it in our Hudson offices in Japan, but we had it localized by Victor Ireland and his uh, new company, uh, Gaijin Works. Uh, so he did a great job for us. He took our developers from Japan, flew them to Miami, he put them in a gun range, made them shoot guns, he took them to the Miami PD offices, he took them to the, the cargo port, he really made them understand what Miami's like, and then he himself and his team did some of the, lo the localization to make it fit. It feels real. And I think you were telling me they got up in those cranes that they have at the cargo holds. Can you tell us that story? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, Victor made some of our Hudson Entertainment employees and some of the Japanese developers hop into one of those giant cargo cranes at the port that, you know, they grab the containers, lift them up in the air. They climbed hundreds of feet in the air. They went all the way up into the operator's uh, box, you know, it was all glass, you can see through everything, and they had to sit there for like a half an hour while he was moving around, and they're, you know, they're not useless, they're like, cowering in fear, yeah. so it, it's real. It's cargo cranes and gun and the gun range, the two things you have to do when you go to Miami. Apparently so. <laughs> I want to go there so I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. All right, so uh, Miami Law, when's it coming out and uh, what platform? Miami Law will be coming out in June on the Nintendo DS. Thanks, man.